Let me do this one, called Marriage Fire. When our marriage burned up and then down, drifts of deception under the doors, almost smothering us, and ending with crackling anger, scorching whatever we'd papered over until we both went aflame ourselves, our friends came as, as clown firemen, scrambling out of a little red truck, yelling and bumping into each other, falling down with their big feet in the air, many dousing you with cold sympathy, a few rolling me roughly in a blanket. We should have had a smoke alarm or gone to counseling, they said. And although some thought the vacant lot looked better empty, our marriage too big to begin with, too bright blue for the neighborhood, most were angry it wasn't there. And since there was no second act, they jumbled back into their truck and left. It was hard to sift through all that darkness settling over the ground. You took half of the ashes. I took half. Uh, this turns out to be a love poem. It started out by uh, making a mistake in buying a book. It was in San Francisco and uh, had been reading uh, Shinkichi Takahashi, a uh, almost contemporary Zen poet. Saw the name Takahashi on the book spine in the City Lights bookstore. Bought it, then went to a nearby outdoor cafe to settle down and read. And I discovered it was not Shinkichi, but Matsuo, who was a different poet altogether. My wife, meanwhile, was back in the hotel taking a nap. Accidentals. I've bought a, a wrong book to read at the sidewalk cafe, mistaking one Takahashi for another, Matsu for Shinkichi, so it's an accident. At the corner, a taxi toots at a dozing car. Shinkichi, who said once as a cloud, I'm cheerful, whatever happens, would not honk. But Matsuo, who apparently writes, a man's tongue teems with cruel ants, he might honk viciously as well. Sleeping is a ceaseless struggle with death, which is not true for the woman who sleeps back in our room, beautiful even more because it is afternoon, probably sweetly oblivious even to that fire truck's blast heading toward another accident. Because I keep on reading the wrong book while thinking of the right one, and because of everyone passing, including that man who seems a little too well pleased with himself, because of what I was spared when the fire truck did not turn my way, because of a breeze I don't know stirring the curtains I imagine around a woman composed primarily of sunlight, I feel not too well pleased with myself, everything being an accident, and not like a cheerful cloud, but this afternoon, not damn far from it. Another love poem, Dining Alone with Everyone. I'm sitting in the French cafe in Omaha, large photos around of people sitting in a French cafe in France, no doubt, shadows now of shadows, and I'm sipping the house cabernet, thinking of you in another city, and suddenly feel the heavy thrill of loving swell in the ruby globe of my chest. At the next table, a white-haired woman in black nods to another, some knowledge worth a wrinkle of concern. Behind them, two men in business suits are pleased with business and I'm exquisitely concerned with my own life. My mother thought a train station profound, all those different lives moving on, she'd murmur, not unlike from our mountain walk, the small waterfall, which she reminded me later, even if we forgot, was still pouring down, which I thus never have forgotten. The waiter places the silverware tenderly personal before me, my napkin folded as intricately as Notre Dame. I love you and Paris, all of us, even that darkened water plunging relentlessly over itself out of our attention. <laughs> 